Hey everybody, welcome to our Debt Free Journey. I am Koa, this is True. We apologize, it's been a very long time since we last made a video. Um, we were actually scheduling to make a video in October of 2018. Nice. No, yeah, 2019. 8 October of 2019. But we got sick and we ended up postponing it and then we just kind of fell out of doing that. We still kept with our budgeting and stuff like that, but we just kind of stopped making the videos. Right. Um, and now 2021 is rolled around. This is, seems like a good opportunity to start back up again. And we kind of wanted to catch you guys up to where we left off in October since then. Um, we have since gotten out of debt. We've paid off all our credit cards and, and all that fun stuff. And car um, loan. And car loan paid all that off. Um, and then we've been saved the tune saved of uh, a little over 17,000, around 18,000, might have been closer to 20,000 after we added everything up. Yeah, so, so it, was, uh, it was a crazy year, um, as everyone is well aware. And we did save up enough money, we were able to get a house, so we're actually in our new home. Um, we've been here for about, uh, I want to say two months now. Uh, no, it's, it was in September of last year, September. so it's yeah. been, uh, we actually months. moved in like October. Yeah, I would so say October, so. It's it, been a few months, yeah, a couple, a few months. Couple yeah. months. Um, so yeah, everything is good. So our only debt now is the mortgage, um, but we still have plans saving money and, and things like that. So we're going to try and keep uh, doing, you know, keeping this budget going and, and you guys can follow along with us. Um, and our current plan is, you know, uh, right now we have a 30 year old, 30 year long um, mortgage. term mortgage, but we do plan to pay $500 extra towards it each month, which would um, come down to um, 20 year term, hopefully. hopefully. So uh, and that's how, what the calculations show. So that's right now, that's the most we can do right now with our excess money each month. Our incomes are quite irregular right now because of just because of the, um, the nature of work we're in. Um, so we're trying we're to try and do our best to mm -hmm. put $500 a month um, towards extra principal payments. Right. So, so, and we'll let's, go over our stuff here. So. All right, so here's our January <laughs> plan, I guess. Well, it's, before we go into it, I wanted to talk about how um, this is our first time, first month uh, of using this, the Budget Moms workbook. We actually got the box set because we I got it for um, with the uh, Black Friday savings and uh, and the fifty percent of coupon that we had the coupon code. It actually came out to cheaper, being cheaper than the workbook. So that actually worked out well, and I didn't think we were gonna, you know, we would find it um, good because I actually wanted the workbook, but it was sold out for the longest time, and finally was able to. Um, um, but now that we first week, you know, started filling in, I actually like the fact that we can. It's very portable. We can take it to, you know, I can take it to work, you know, uh, put it in the car, however we want it. Um, so, um, so now let's get on with the, um, with the, our first, how we have set up our first January, um, budget with the budget moms workbook. Um, before we go into that, I wanted to talk about, um, we still using, you know, before we were using our Excel sheets, you mm -hmm. know, which are on, you know, that we put it on Google drive and both me and Koa can, um, adjust it on our phones on the fly but then we all since 2019 we've always used these um really cheap <laughs> um envelopes, envelopes for but our cash envelopes and, and we actually um uh one thing that we used to do it with just paper um but, but true decided to um laminate these sheets and so now we use a dry erase uh, pen on here so now we can erase it and then do for like the next month we don't have to recreate new sheets every time um anyway i thought that was a just a neat little thing that true decided yeah. to like upgrade our envelopes to yeah it's just mainly for i don't have to keep printing you know uh new sheets. <laughs> sheets over and over again uh, especially because we don't have a printer i have to do it at work and i really do not want to do it if i don't have to and it's kind of a breakdown of our cash envelopes as well as so. of december um 20th uh, december 2020 balance um 
So actually, before we address this, I actually want to start and go, but um, go into our January setup. So this is the overlay of our month and different. Um, we, we are paid weekly, so first week, second week, third week, fourth week, and um, we uh, this week this paycheck checks this week's paychecks will cover February's. So, anyways, um, so what? I wanted to do was to um, since we're paid weekly um, I wanted to put our incomes log our incomes as they come in and yes I know I got it wrong on this put it on the Saturday instead of a Friday but with this channel you'll see that <laughs> we make a lot of mistakes we're still learning this is our first time doing the pen and paper truly solely pen and paper method uh, so it's gonna be trial and error and we're definitely not experts at this so these are gonna be our spending categories and we took out for the month of um, January we took out $1,483 out for cash spending envelopes and for sinking to fund our sinking funds so Koa do you want to go through we have obviously our income separate here, you know, income one, income two. Um, these are actually slightly a little bit lower than what they normally would be because we actually uh, budgeted um, with our uh, with our employer that we have certain amount uh, actually taken out a percentage of, of our check put away into a, um, retirement. a retirement. So, um, but anyway, not that that really matters. So. Um, so we, here we have our budget amount and what we our actual amounts are that we're actually getting for the first week, right? And then of course that depending on how many hours we get, you know, things like that change obviously. For and I'll go, I'll explain why our starting balance is actually really high, seven thousand six hundred and seventeen dollars and seventy nine cents, and that's because it's a combination of our cash balance envelope. I mean the balance of our cash envelopes as well as sinking funds as well as the rollover buffer fund that we have which is 5000 we want to keep it 5000 for from now on and uh, in our checking accounts um, to make sure that because our you know jobs if we don't work we don't get paid some if something Emergency. should happen to you know coa you know it will at least cover one month's expenses so that 5000 will always be rolling over it took us what quite a few months to get Did to it, that yeah. 5000 but uh, now that we, we, our goal was to get it uh, fully funded, that buffer fund before 2021 uh, began, and we actually achieved that. So that's that's good. Um, so basically, this starting balance is a combination of the the um, cash envelope for the you know as of the December 2020 at the end of it. Um, what our balance. Um, the balance is, which is five hundred and seventy-six dollars and sixty-six cents that we have left over on our cash envelopes. In our cash envelopes, which is this stack, and then I also have the sinking funds total, which is two thousand and thirty-two dollars and eighty cents, which is our sinking from our sinking funds um, stack. So the total starting at uh, the total of all both cash and sinking funds envelopes equals to $2,609.46. Now that combined with the $5,000 for from our cash, I mean from our emergency fund rollover. Rollover, not emergency fund cuz yeah, well, it's emergency rollover. It's part of the emergency fund, you correct, the buffer, you yeah. know. So that comes out to $7,617. It, so <laughs> we actually did not make that money in one month. It's just what we have rolling over. So it's, that's why we call it the starting balance, and it's a combination of rollover, rollover fund and envelopes. The extra income, we don't plan to have any extra income this month just, just because of COVID and DoorDash. I 
don't feel comfortable doing it right now. So, but we will continue to do DoorDash and get that extra income because we do need to do it to uh, help fund our uh, saving goals for the 2021, like emergency fund. All right, we need to get a car, maybe just in case, like start a car fund, which is, you know, 3,000 to 5,000. So, so anyway, our first paycheck amount, uh, the total income, will be $8,833.76. We have no bills this pay period. And do you want to go over our different envelopes? Not really. <laughs> um, so obviously, as you guys can see here, we got grocery, we got fuel, dining out, entertainment. Um, we got my personal fund money, um, which just goes into, I put it in like a wallet. Little, um, my wallet and like a little envelope. Um, don't necessarily spend all of it, but we kind of consider it as spent um, because it's just whatever he wants to do. He'll yeah, do with it. Um, and then of course we got clothing, um, household supplies, school supplies, work supplies. Uh, neither one of us are in school right now. We were before in the past years before, but we kind of just put work and school together. And work and supplies for co it's mainly for Koa, right? Because work supplies, yeah. like, you know, he is a carpenter. Or, you know, whatever supplies or tools that he needs, it will come from this envelope. Okay, uh, okay so we've got uh, car registration, car maintenance. I mean, these are our sinking funds. Oh, um, so the total of the envelopes, oh. uh, total for cash envelopes that we're taking out for this month is 880 we're doing it a monthly withdrawal because the nearest atm or oh, the nearest bank, bank is like 40 minutes away from us so like 46 something minutes when we moved away it, or to our new home that we don't have a bank near us it's so. out in the country basically so um so that's why we we moved it to what which, which is why that buffer fund as part of the starting balance is very important because it helps us yeah. be one month ahead and then, of course, we have our sinking funds, um, car registration, which is almost uh, full. Um, after this, it, it will we've already reached the amount that we need to save for the car registration, so we don't have to save for that anymore. Um, car maintenance, dental, housing maintenance, uh, medical costs, vision. Um, with our little asterisk here. So our vision is actually going to be fully funded. Uh, fully funded, so we won't need to put any more in that either. Um, and, of course, we got our uh, PSN, uh, you know, PlayStation uh, subscription, um, VPN, and union dues for my carpenter union dues. Right. And uh, and so then we got our total funds there. That we took out for sinking funds, which is $603. And um, for in terms of the debt, uh, we have none, no consumer. We paid over our car loan and car loans and um, credit, card credit card debts and all that stuff. So we don't have to worry about that. In terms of extra saving, this month is going to be a tight month for us just because we have supplemental tax bill going out and all this stuff, um, as well as, um, you know, we, we it's going to be a tight month. So um, uh, Also on this uh, extra, these credit card debts and things like that, since uh, one of the credit cards that we had it was a Best Buy credit card um, and we paid for that. Um, and since we paid for it and we don't really need it, I mean, we've got, you know, our bank credit cards um, anyway. Um, we don't need the Best Buy credit card. So we actually went and canceled that and called it and said, okay, we're, we're done with, with that. We don't need it anymore. So. Yeah, which is great because it, you know, keeps us from being tempted. To use it. <laughs> <laughs> which has happened anyway, before. So. so so with extra savings for this paycheck, we were planning to do, um, this is the, the Budget Mom Saving Challenge. It's called Jolly January Savings Challenge. And we chose the word happy, and happy, the first word, the That's first the letter is H, and H corresponds to $8 that we're supposed to save for the week. So, um, but then, <laughs> we're we, taking we it out of the cash envelopes. Yeah, and we, didn't, we couldn't break the eight. Uh, the ten dollar bill to make eight, so we just went ahead and said we'll just save the ten. Ten dollars, so we're so. doing ten dollars instead, and then change our. We don't expect to uh, save any of the extra change, but you know just that it's, it's going to be, it's going to change when the actual numbers come in at the end of the week when we do our budget check in for the week one. And I'm not sure if anybody would be uh, interested in this. It's just a breakdown of a thousand four hundred eighty three dollars that we took off of. 
cash envelopes and uh, sinking funds, which the total of 880 and 603 comes out to 1483. So, so this is for the next week. I already started, you know, adding some stuff in, and that's it. That's it. So for January, we're kind of excited about doing this, uh, the budget mom, because we've always done uh, Excel sheet, and that actually has worked just fine. Mm -hmm. But um, this seems it just makes it look prettier. prettier. Um, it's kind of fun. Although but... to be on to be honest though, I, I don't really care for it too much. Um, not that I don't like this. This is very pretty, very neat, um, and everything. But it's like we have this. We mm -hmm. have uh, that other book over. Here. We have this we have book. The tracking on the actual. We have we have this. We've, we've got these all these books. We've we've got tracking we do on this. We've got <laughs> tracking we do on our Excel on our phones. We've got on the computer. We got all this stuff, and then we have to correspond. Like whenever we add something, we got to go in every single one of these things and and mark it down. Well, and so it can be very hard to track everything and and all that. And it's kind of tedious, I find. Yeah. Um, but to be fair, this folder is just just to keep track of our sinking fund balances each month. At the end of each month, what the total the current balance is just to help me. I know I keep it tracked on our Excel sheets as well. As well, yeah. And we have sinking funds <laughs> tracked on here too. Yeah. So it's kind of like... Well, we'll fix... Uh, uh, let's see how it and goes. And I can hear True getting frustrated yeah, trying to mark stuff get, in. Going, oh, frustrated. now I, I wrote it wrong. And on one book, so now I got to go back through all the other books and check it and find out where it went wrong, and then I got to you know got to change everything again, and yeah, it's it's kind of a pain in the butt. But once we find, I think once we find our groove, um, yeah. it, it'll we'll have work to cut out, out something because Co is right. You know, we need to uh, get rid of just to make our life easier. Because I do get frustrated, and of course, when I get frustrated, he gets frustrated because I run to him. <laughs> These are our year, uh, our short-term, mid-term, long-term financial goals that we set out, and we do intend to. Do you want to go through it? Like you know, how you're doing much? you're doing just fine. <laughs> um, so you know, obviously we have our emergency fund. Um, we aim to do. This is an addition. This does not include the five thousand buffer mm -hmm. that we already have in place right. already. This is in addition to right uh, that. Um, supplemental tax bill, so you know, we've got to pay our taxes at the end of the year. So we want to make sure we have enough yeah. uh, by April to pay for our taxes. Um, extra income, um, like mainly through DoorDash and right. So you know, our goal is to make an extra five thousand there. Um, car new. This is we would like to because right now we carpool um, together and the way our, our work is and everything. We work together so. Uh, at the same place so right now we don't need a second car but plans and you know things just may change in the future right. so we're putting money Present away if I get a better job <laughs> or something right so we put put money away uh, just in case we need a second car then we'll have that extra money to be able to buy a, a used car um wait wait what do we have oh okay so in, by 2025 mm -hmm. uh we'll hope to have 30,000 emergency funds. Which is a five-year plan. Uh, vacation. Five, you know, you got to have build take vacation. Now, do you want to talk about how our vacation is going to be funded, you know, with your vacation fund that you'll get from oh, your work? Oh, well, yeah, okay. And so through my work, um, through the Carpenters Union, um, every year we get um, money at the end of the year uh, for vacation, sick pay, and which sick comes leave. out of his paychecks. Y yeah, it just it gets. We just don't see the it. The union puts it aside for for its workers. Um, so that money, as it comes in each year, we'll actually put it in towards our vacation, um, which, which should be around four thousand, five thousand per year. Y roughly, yeah. Right. So we'll probably end up actually having more than five thousand. Yeah. Um, by twenty twenty two. But you never know. So anyway, that's the goal. Uh, and then, of course, home maintenance. Um, well, you know, you know, we want to increase this each time um, as the years go on, just because you know uh, ha might have to replace the roof or the gutter or that kind of thing, or maybe someday we put solar uh, to mm -hmm. reduce our electric sure. bill. You know. So, but as of right now, that's that's what that 
And right That's now convenient. we're saving as part of our cash envelopes, um, a sinking funds. We're saving three hundred and fifty dollars per month for this maintenance, for this home maintenance savings. So we are going to be saving like four thousand something, you know. And we're going to be throwing any extra that we get from. Uh, extra income towards this as well okay. as the years go by right and, and course, that's for like within the next five years and so i have it within three years but you know and then of course we got our mortgage payoff that's our mortgage amount um and then we are putting an extra 500 uh, away towards principal so hopefully instead of paying it off in 30 years we'll actually pay it off in 20 at least that's the goal mm -hmm. um if we get more income and and things work out better for us, then we'll put more money into that mm -hmm. and hopefully um, get it paid off in 15 years instead of 20 or maybe even sooner. Yep. So that's, that's that. our goals for now. And yeah. And so we'll hopefully we'll try and make more videos more often yep. um, and, and not leave you guys in the dark for a year like we did. Um, but uh, so hopefully you guys will stay tuned. Um, if you guys like the video, please, you know, as usual, subscribe. Uh, we also have a Instagram account as well. Uh, we'll put that in our in the links below, mm -hmm. so you guys can look at that. And We've got a lot Instagram of followers on Instagram. Account is our debt free journeys. J O U R N E Y S. And so please follow us on Instagram as well. We do do more regular posts on Instagram. We have been doing it across well, the last year. True, does more yeah. more posts on Instagram, yeah. but yes. So. Thank you so much for checking in. Hopefully we will get some traction and we will do our budget check-in next Friday slash Saturday and we'll be uploading it by the next Saturday night. Right. Uh, so stay tuned and Thanks we'll let watching. you know how we uh, do this yeah. week. All right, guys. Thank you.